Só, 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 só. Uh, and we're going to move to the other side of the street. Uh, this is a room where there were a window, wasn't it? Uh, I'm going to do kind of the rear and side of these buildings on the side of the street. Studio visit yesterday. Oh, well, um, I made them a painting, which I didn't show yesterday's video because I hadn't made it yet. And I can't show in today's video because I didn't even photograph it. It was a painting of their building. It's an organisation from platform called Antisocial. It's a new parent sister, one of your parent sisters, and social. And yeah. The person who runs it first walked into a proper studio. 11 years ago. Um, it's good to get a um, Especially as they came to my new part of the studio and helped me pick some work. It's going to Manchester. Um, but they're taking it to Manchester. So it takes the kind of social awkwardness out of it. They are going to be kind of exhibiting my work permanently as far as I'm aware, because they have a new shop. But using the fair as a way of showing off that side of things, what's made locally. I work was picked, so <sighs> so I've been working hard the last few days to sort the studio out so they could come visit. And they've done that now. So I can relax a bit. Um, what am I doing the next video? I'm supposed to be doing because that just doesn't work out as an idea. Um, The cat's annoyed that I've locked them out because my job was talking quite loudly um, and had started recording. Then one of them came upstairs and they were walking downstairs and noise ensued. I do like it when they spend time together, so I'd rather that. Chimney. I'm 
trying to forget the chimneys again, obviously. Got big chimneys yesterday. Catering extraction unit. But that meeting yesterday basically made me think, Eep. never mind, you know, I have a business plan, I don't have a creative plan for the business either. Um, I, can, I kind of need to work that out. Because I don't know where I'm going creatively and I don't know where I'm going business wise and the two really are intertwined and I guess I'd be so lost. I get so lost worrying about one that I forget I've not done the other and really they need, they need working out at the same time. For so many years, I've just kind of gone wherever I want to go and just to find it that way. I mean, that's fine, like when I had a job, but I need some sort of creative plan for what I'm doing rather than just working at stuff randomly as and when I feel like it. It's one of those things. If if I was coming at it from a teacher's point of view, you know, um, I, I'd say to my students, you know, if you're going to do this, you need you know a support group, you need a close group of friends that you can refer to that kind of tell you when you. the right way and hold you accountable and the thing is personally I don't have that I've never had that uh, I've got a group of close friends and all the work in kind of particularly creative industry um,
you know, when it comes to when it comes to working in the creative industries, I've never had any fun with that, I don't know. Um, that uncle was in trouble. That's where it hurt. my family come from, um, the trades, so, um, so much so, but it wasn't until my grandfather tried throwing that he was kind of disappointed I hadn't gone into a trade, but when he tried throwing them at us we only realised that, you know, it's the trade version of art. Probably think weirdo. That's why. I'm. But whatever I do, it will, like I say, be prolific. Just gotta work out what it is I want to do. And I need to stop saying yes to things I don't want to do. I need to just say no. No, that that doesn't interest who I am, where I am, where I'm going. Um, yeah, yes, you're offering to pay me, but no, I don't want your money. You don't want to work with you. I'm sure you can find some other creative people who do want to work I forgot an entire window. But now I'll still got my pen out. That would have started painting the area. I'm like, oh, oh it's been around. I took apart my paint box and I cleaned a lot of the paint off it because um, it got really crusty underneath here where it catches water when you, when you do that. And I did that this morning because I was waiting for the shopping to come. If you have a clear creative vision, I am envious of you because <laughs> I won't work like that. I assure you, if you can hear them screaming, 
They are fine. Oh, Mary. I also got to be proud of that moment yesterday when I had to show you know because you're with someone who's great you can show your kids work and they can understand you know. yeah. at 14 how far along they kind of are if they've got kind of this clear creative vision which my elder seems to have more so than me And he completes his painting stake um, all the time, which, yeah, sure. But he's young, he's still learning the skills. I wish I was as far along as he is, so, you know. <laughs> I've told him. I've told him in some ways he's much better than I am. And he's lucky that he can kind of focus down and spend hours at a time on the painting. I wish I could. has a clear vision too. He wants to be a computer game designer and um, kind of knows the sorts of games he wants to make. I still don't even know the sort of things I want to paint. I mean I know I paint buildings every day but is that what I want to do forever? I mean I don't know. Some of it is kind of, for me at least, it's kind of avoiding that kind of idea of having to think about improving. Um, I don't have to think about improving that much if I'm just, well, I've gone a long way in four years. I just sometimes wish it was further. His work is landscape based too, and like I say, I've never taught him. But it's very expansive and immersive sorts of stuff. Um, mind which plays more on the everyday.
And as it is, you know, as a parent, you're trying to protect them from kind of the negative attitudes that I felt when I was at school. But, you know, This is only in the nineties. Someone who was reasonably good at science, you know, he had maths the uh, Expectation was to go to university to study that. Both my sons are good at maths, but I'm not going to force them to kind of do maths if they don't want to. Like I felt I was. Some shadows on, and then I've not forced them into the arts. I won't force them into the arts. I won't force them to do anything they don't. It doesn't help them. Life's too short to inflict the traumas. The previous generations or the next. Anyway, thanks for watching.